Hey you fuckers, and welcome to the Terrible Podcast. I'm Nick. And I am Brad. And we are gonna talk about some shit. Yes. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this is great. Hell yeah. And the men who hold high places <clears throat> must be the ones. So I heard you uh, just murdered some wasps or something like that today? Dude. Uh, I was in a fucking fight for my life today, Brad. Really? So check it out. All right. We have this fence in our backyard, okay? And there's uh, a gate leading into it. So if if you are on the outside... What kind of fence is that? A wooden... Privacy fence? Wooden oh, yeah. privacy fence? Okay. It's a wooden privacy not fence. Not like a hurricane fence or not like a chain link mm-hmm. fence. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And, and we don't want anybody to see what's going on in our backyard. So we want privacy. Can it's understand. a privacy fence made of wood. And there's a gate. I understand. You go into the gate, and all of a sudden, uh, a couple days ago, we noticed that there was a a nest of wasps, which is fucked to say, by the way. Yeah. Wasps. Say it. Wasps. 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 There was a nest of wasps. Nest of wasps. Okay? So we're sitting in the backyard. Wasps. And, and I noticed this nest full of wasps. Nests in a nest. A wasp's nest. Wasp's nest. A wasp's. And I, I looked at him and I said, this is what I said. Nest. Check it out. This is what I said. Soon. Oh, wow. Right? Okay. I told him. I told those yeah. little fuckers. I told him, soon. <laughs> okay? So today, dude, I'm sitting in my backyard. And I'll be honest, I, I had kind of forgotten about him. So but they then, weren't bothering anybody? Well, or, or I mean, if if I could continue my story. Were they bothering anybody? If I could continue my story, though. Okay. Okay? So I'm sitting in my backyard. And all of a sudden I hear, this is what it sounds like. Check it out. Because one of those little pricks had flown by my ear. Ooh, wow. And, and I was like. Old, it's a dangerous place to be. My ear? Yeah, for anybody. Yeah, stay out of my ear, dude. Stay out of my ear. Especially you, if you have a, a poisonous sword coming out of your ass. Yeah, as well. Dude. Catch me on the right day. So, what I said was, today. <laughs> <laughs> so, I went into the garage and I grabbed a can. You can look at it right now. It's a, it's a can of... It, it's. I mean, it is specifically for murdering yeah, wasps. Yeah, no, is it the kind that has, like, the super jet spray? Yes. Where it's just like... Whoa, blah. Yeah, it's like a fucking poison sniper rifle. It goes... I'm all, about, like, I'm, all about, I'm all about poison weapons today. That's pretty cool. So, this is what I did, dude. What'd you do about it? I fucking... I stood back. Okay. And I waited. I waited <laughs> for, okay. for one of these little bastards to show his face or her face. I'm not sure what the gender is, right and on. I don't want to assume. Yeah, Was- wasps or wasps. I wait uh, for one and, of, and then what? what I waited mean? for one of these wasps to show their face. Okay, yeah, their little fucking wasp face. But here's what I did, dude. I didn't pull the trigger right away. I wanted to see what the fuck they were gonna do. Okay, I wanted to get to know these wasps. Before I murdered them with poison. Wow. Okay? Yeah. So, I'm sitting there. And I'm watching them. Okay? Okay. I'm fucking watching them. I see two of them possibly playing with each other. Oh, just frolicking wasps? Possibly fighting each other. I'm not sure, but th- maybe... Either way, th- that sounds pretty cool. That's not normally how I imagine wasps. I mean, it, I did see the lighter side of them. Typically, I don't okay. observe them much. I'm like, oh, fuck these dudes. And then you run? Like a bitch? No. I didn't run like a bitch today, Brad. You know what I did? Like, sometimes I kill them, or sometimes I just kind of shoo them away if they're close to me, and then normally they'll just kind of be like, yeah, never mind. You don't shoo away a wasp, let alone multiple wasps. Like, I give it three times. I got, I got a three-time rule. Three strikes, you're out? On a lot of things. With wasps? On a lot of things, yeah. Like with wasps, with people staring at you in diners, <laughs> things like that. Well, my brother taught me the one about staring at people in diners. He was like, this is what I do, okay? Uh-huh. He's not He's not from Jersey or anything, but he will be He will be tonight. He's like, this is what I do. <laughs> and so that's, dog. That's the only part of him that'll be from Jersey. But um, 
he was like, yeah, man, I'll be sitting at a diner, and, like, I see somebody look, and I look, and I smile or whatever, like, oh, hey, you know, there, you, there you go, you get one. I look back, and they're just steady staring. All right, that's whatever, dude, you, you get one more. <laughs> All right. And then you look back, you know, a few seconds later or a minute later, however long you want to give it, and they're still staring at you, and that's when you just keep on staring back. Oh, yeah. That's when you just let yeah, your story absolutely. Just oh. look at, like, watch me audience i want you to watch something you can't see right now watch this with listen, your ears listen to me stare into this motherfucker's soul real quick this is how you do it do you feel that dude i did do you feel that i i instinctively wanted to look away from you it's wild yeah. i know yeah so God that's what you do. damn it i don't like that but yeah same rule with wasps like they can have one three strikes you're out yeah. wasps fly near my face head one time all right there's one you know what i mean give me two more of those and so here's what i did okay i'm standing there i'm watching them wow that has a scent dog oh yeah don't don't smell that um (laughs) yeah back back away maybe just give me the microphone for a couple minutes yeah let's hear it go check your phone or something because i'm gonna be burping it's gonna be smelling like tacos it smells like hot dogs did it smell like hot dogs it's weird i haven't eaten hot dogs in a while so i'm watching these fucking wasps yeah. <laughs> and they're frolicking. And they're playing. They're enjoying their lives. They're trying to take over my backyard, dude. They're just enjoying the sunshine like everybody else. Not not in my backyard. They had to get their vitamin D. Not in my backyard. Which in this case sounds like vitamin destruction. Vitamin death. Oh, even better. I'm Dog. stupid. I'm a stupid idiot. Yours was so much cooler. So, yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> I, see, I see two of them playing. And I see one of them kind of off in the distance, okay? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, they have a fucking nest, okay? Right by the gate, right where... Someone call it their home? Yeah, their home that they're trying to build on my property. Oh, that's a That I did not give them permission to do. (laughs) They ain't paying. No matter what you say, I'm not going to feel bad about this. Yeah, they ain't paying. Okay? And it's right by the gate, dude. You open the gate and you piss off a bunch of wasps. And then you're in trouble. That's true. And then you're in fucking trouble. They probably don't like the vibrations. They got poison swords coming out of their butts, dude. They probably don't like the vibrations from all the gate ruckus. So I pulled the trigger. Okay. I pulled the fucking trigger. Oh my god. These two frolicking wasps go down. Okay? I okay. fucking pull the trigger and like it like freezes them, dude. They're like, yeah! and they fall. And they're fucking dead. And the third one understands what's going on i swear this happened like, dude you know, he starts coming at me you're like you tell him i'm coming yeah and hell's coming with me dude the third one started fucking coming at me i had to shoot him out of the sky oh, wow i had to fucking be like oh god and then did and you then tell I, me how you should have strafed or tucked and rolled i should have i should have held uh you should have just R1. dodge rolled it just smash the b button and dodge roll should, out of yeah, there i should have held a direction in circle yeah uh and done a quick somersault but what i did was i shot him out of the fucking sky right wow so he fell down a couple feet in front of me so i just stomped on his body oh and then for good measure i walked up to those first two and you know what i did brad what's that I fucking sprayed them again. Oh. They were clearly dead. But you know what I did, Brad? Hit them again. I fucking hit them again. Double tap. You you, want to know why? Chicken thigh. Do you want to know why, though? Why? Because daddy is a fucking killer, dude. Because I'm a fucking stone cold killer. So I double tap these cock sucking freeloading wasps. (laughs) Right? And then here's the part that I might lose sleep over, Brad. You know what I did after I killed all the adults? Did you like... I sprayed the nest, Brad. Oh. I sprayed the nest. I might have... I thought you were going in a different direction. Dude. No. What? What? Sexual? Somewhat. I fucked those wasps. No. I thought you were going to say like you J-O'd over their corpses or something. I should... I still might because two of the corpses... Two of the corpses are still in my backyard. I might might go J-O. I guess. No, dude. I... I, I, uh, (laughs) I mm. I sprayed the nest because I'm like, if any of you other Ruthless. sons of bitches want to grow up and try to avenge your parents, <laughs> it's not going to happen in my fucking backyard. You aren't going to fucking Bruce Wayne me. Here's the deal, dude. I will kill those babies to protect my babies. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Dude. I have a baby. I'll kill any baby to protect my baby. I understand that. What's Fred up to? Is he cool with my kids? 
Yeah. He fucking better be. Okay, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry I said that. I immediately wish that I hadn't said that. Yeah. Like, you know our kids are cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're friends. So, I, the moral of, of the story is, uh, is that I'm a fucking stone cold killer, dude. Apparently. I'll fucking, I'll, I'll end you. I will fucking end you. You show up in my backyard with your poison and your sword, and I will fucking end you. Brad, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Well, I'm just learning not to bring my kid with me if I have a poison butt sword. I will spray your child with a wasp killer. That's probably pretty bad for a fucking four-year-old, if we're being honest. It's probably terrible for a four-year-old. I don't know. It's probably bad for a 50-year-old. I don't know. Um, hey, you fuckers. Uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, joining us today. Um, you know, I I don't know when we're going to was... upload this, but we recently uploaded our first episode, and uh, people have listened, and people have liked it, man, and that feels really good. That is a cool thing. Thanks, it's a, everybody. It's a good fucking feeling, man. That's pretty cool. So, I'm like, hey, these guys and gals, and that's pretty cool. Brad's uh, the Fonz about it. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. So we're going to keep... Uh, hey! Just uh, trying yeah. to throw some funny at Listen, you. Listen, we're just going to keep on keeping on. All right? We're just here to have a good time. You know, we ain't raising no heck <laughs> outside or nothing. Mm-mm. So we're, we're staying out of trouble in here. I don't believe in heck. Neither do I. So I'd never raise it. How can you raise it if it ain't there? Yeah. I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know what I was fucking getting. At. Did you just start a joke without having an end in mind? Yeah, dude. Yet that's again, the, that's the worst feeling in it the happens world. Happens all the time. Oh man, I. Uh, never mind. <laughs> yep. <laughs> happens never mind, often. Man. Oh, fuck, man. What? Um, so, what'd you do besides murder in cold blood today? I went and hit a bucket of golf balls at the Ooh, driving fuck, range. Man, yeah, yeah. Uh, My day was very uh, relaxing and leisurely, and then just full of murder. Where'd you I, go to do that? Knights Action Park. Shout outs. Okay. Oh. Shout out. It's, I mean, shout, shout outs. outs to Knights. I guess uh, this episode of the podcast is brought. Nope. It's not. It's, brought, not. it's not brought. It's to not you brought to you by anybody Zero. but us. Yeah, we're the only ones who have brought you this so far, which mm-hmm. is cool. I'm not like, ooh, fool you, but whatever. It's. We just don't want to get in trouble with people. Um, so when I go to nights and I hit that driving range, I'm usually under the uh, the awning. Yeah. Part. I just, you know, I like the shade or the heat in the winter. They have like electric heaters there. there. You can go drive some balls in the fucking winter, dog. That's pretty I cool, didn't, right? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. the late fall. I mean, but like it's all got electric heat in there, so that's cool. Under that pavilion. Yeah. Uh, that's where I hit my balls from today. When I go hit balls there, I just I don't if, I don't know if it's a slice or a hook, but it goes really high up mm-hmm. and to the right. Yeah, I can fix that for and you. And then you know where that propane tank is? Yeah, I hit that. I about tank. hit that motherfucker. Today. I hit that propane tank all the time. Sorry, Knights Action Park, but like that net is not high enough to catch the balls <laughs> that I'm hitting. So I'm sorry. That net does not account for. People that aren't great at golf. Yeah, I am terrible. Uh, yeah. I should have prefaced this whole thing with I am not good at golf. Dude, I can fix that up for you. We need to But we you're need... not good either, so what do you Um I felt like I had my driver dialed in today. This is fascinating radio. I mean by I the know way. I know I think I know what I need to do. It's just I need to make the face of my club no nope. contact with the ball. In more of a squared off way instead. Because, like, I swing like a fucking batter. Because like it's a baseball? Yeah, because that's yeah. where I came from with all that. Well, that's, so. that's not how it works. Man. I understand that. And that's why I said that, because I know that that's not how it works. I'm just telling you why I'm bad and also why I don't care. What blows my mind is that you're telling me why your swing is inadequate. But apparently... You keep fucking swinging that way. Yeah, no, I don't care if I get better at golf. Apparently, you understand the premise of a straight golf shot, but you continue to swing inadequately. I mean, somewhat. It's just about overcoming that old muscle memory. I don't hit the driving range enough to actually train it in any other way. So you don't give a fuck about greatness, is what you're trying to tell me. Not when it comes to golf. Dude... 
Listen, there's only one name that I need to know in golf, and that is fucking Big John Daly. So eat my shit. Uh, I don't care about <laughs> anything else past that. <laughs> I will certainly not be doing that. Here's things that have been said on this show so far that I'm not going to do. I'm not going to spray your kid with poison. Thank goodness. And I'm not going to eat your shit about John Daly, dude. That's cool, too. Or probably about anything else, but certainly not John Daly. Don't eat my John Daly shit. Dog, you're better than that. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, dog. Um, Okay, so we recently talked about that movie Us. Yeah. And I was kind of saying, like, nah. Anyway, I changed my mind. Did you watch a breakdown of it? Yeah. Okay. I, I've done extensive research, and, right. and, and now I'm like, oh, it's the All smartest right. movie ever. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the evolution of ideas and opinions, and that's great stuff. Let's hear what. How do you feel about it now? It's just so smart. There, there's so much uh, symbolism in that movie that you don't catch if you're not ready for it, man. Are you being sarcastic? Right I'm now? not being sarcastic. Okay. And what? I wasn't sure if this was a bit or not. No, it's not a bit. I, and I'm like the bit guy, so I'm really like going out on a limb here. No, let's fucking hear it. I'm excited. <sighs> well, now I feel bad because I don't want to fucking spoil the movie, dude. But but you feel better about it now. Yeah, that that's the main point I want to make is like I want to backtrack and be like, hey, man, just so you guys know, that movie is incredible. Yeah. Now that I have greater understanding yeah. of this art yeah. <laughs> that I witnessed. Yeah, then, yeah. You know, that's cool, man. Well, fucking awesome. Yeah, so everybody go see it, and if you hear that earlier episode Just where like I... Just like to say, your trial of hate for this movie was incredibly short, comparatively. Yeah. Dude, I usually hate things for about two, three years yeah. before I am comfortable enough to admit that I like it. Yeah. So that's really say, hey, Jordan Peele, uh, shout outs, love you. Yeah, you really broke through that. Great film, dog. That art hate barrier that he's got. Great film. Fantastic. Uh, well, I'm excited to see that then, too. Yeah, speaking of, of art hate... Mm-hmm. I saw this thing the other day about like abstract art. Okay. And it's bullshit, isn't it? It's it, listen, it's you don't agree? Fuck you. It's 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 a canvas with a a couple splatters and they're like, "All right, that'll be 5 grand." That's a, it's a, the part of that Is anything about that not true? No, that's all true. I agree. Okay. I agree with that, but like... um, Abstract art. Art art isn't subject to like... Art to any fucking rules, man. Art can be whatever the fuck you want it to be. Okay, well here's what I do not want art to be. I don't want it to be a fucking red splatter... Right next to a green splatter. All right, we'll check it out. And that's why tell me what that means. That's why you don't. Well, that's about duality and shit. And probably. So, and, and who the fuck knows? Wait. I haven't seen your red splatter and green splatter, so I can't. But really wait, hold on. Attach my own meaning to it, like I, everybody does to all the art that they see. Now I understand that abstract art is not for you, but like you said, there's somebody out there who will pay five grand for that. So, but why in the fuck? So eat their shit. Okay, I eat will. Their shit. I will because it's clearly smarter than me. And my shit. They but found a way to make five grand off of two splatters. Dog. Well, I didn't do it justice. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, here's There's, how I could th- be an abstract artist. What I would do in that scenario is instead of just two splatters, I would get four different size canvases and set them all together. Uh-huh. So then it's like a, Ooh, you could... a quad pick. Uh. I don't know what the actual <laughs> word is. I know what a triptych is, but I don't know what the one Try is. Try it again. I don't quad I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what four of them is. Put all those canvases together and then splatter all of them. And then somebody can artfully space them out on their walls above their fucking couch. Uh-huh. And that'll be cool. Or yeah. cliche or whatever. It'll be super splattery, Either though. way, um, I may have made some money off it. And that's cool. Like, I'd hang that up with the right colors in my shit. Listen, man. If you are out there and like, you're... Like, art's about freedom, if, man. So I don't fucking... If you are an abstract artist... Learn to paint a fucking face. Hey, man. Are you just throwing red and green and sometimes yellow paint at a canvas? Hey, draw me a fucking face, dude. Listen. Learn how to draw a face, though. Abstract art is like progressive music. Don't do that. Don't. Hey, I will fucking fight you 
uh, physically. Okay, no, let me frame that a different on way. this show. Let me frame that a different way. <clears throat> Classical art is like progressive music. Abstract art is like uh, um, crust think. punk. Okay, you know what I mean. Well, that's cool because I hate <laughs> punk music. Too. Uh, yeah, abstract art, a- abstract arts don't. Don't alienate people like that. I'm this sorry. Gonna... You, you, it's fine. There's abstract a song called art, Blown to Shreds that's really good. Abstract art is like Green Day. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, it's... There's a time and a place for it, so... Fair enough. Quit pushing your shit. <laughs> Don't talk to me about pushing you my shit. son of a bitch. I'm just... I'm trying to Piece vent. Of shit. I'm trying to vent. You fucking goddamn fucker. Quit pushing your shit. You're not, you know. I just want people. I just can't. It's, you, you, I get it that you hate a lot of stuff, dude. I hate most things. That's like my thing. I'm the guy. I understand that you're the guy that hates stuff. I've been a uh, friend of yours for a long time. It's like my whole thing. It's like my identity is the guy that yeah. hates things, not not people or yeah or races. Dude, I'm like, obviously, I'm like, hey man, here's this thing that you should like before it's cool and everybody likes it, and you're like, no nah, man. Uh, I think I'll pay it on it, man. This is why this is bonky. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Embrace this for a second. Open yourself up to it. I'm I'm incapable of opening myself up to it sometimes. I understand that with anybody, but like, I've introduced you to several things that you really like. Yeah. Like, you should... Just trust my opinion now. Just automatically like anything I ever present you. You're sounding real cocky. You're sounding like a real piece of shit. Well, a real t- son of a bitch. I have a... A real... Mm. A real goddamn fucking... Listen, you son of a bitch. What the fuck's your problem? You want to sit here and say that I'm a goddamn fucking Russian? You get in my face with that, I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You piece of shit. You fucking goddamn well. fucker. Listen, fuckhead. You have fucking crossed the line. Get that through your goddamn fucking head. Okay. Oh, bud. All right. Get that through your goddamn fucking I head, fucking... Brad. Don't call me out. Don't call me out. Don't call out abstract artists for making money off of something that you could also do and make money off of. That's why I'm calling them out, dude. Don't call them out. Just That's do it. That's why I'm fucking calling them out. Why don't, you make, why don't you make abstract art? Give me some paint and uh, canvas. I'll no, do get it right yourself now. some paint and some canvas and then go sell it for $5,000, like you said, can be done. I will. I will. All right. We're going to end this now so we can go get paint and canvas. Yeah. And we're going to become abstract Let's, artists. Okay. Are we not abstract artists in our own sense, though? You know what I mean? Like, do we not make just the most, like, niche fucking skits? Like, nobody ever. Did, like, you know, yeah. like, that's not something designed for just everybody. Hey, man, can I tell like, you? Didn't our music, like,. Fit a certain bill. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That wouldn't... Can I tell you something real quick? Like, everything we do is abstract, so that, fuck. That, that statement uh, kind of changed my mind, and I'm not kidding. We're getting through this hate stuff quicker are, and dude, quicker, dude. Is, it took what? you, like, a week for us or less, <laughs> and now we just got over that in, like, minutes. Welcome to the terrible podcast therapy hour. We are yeah. figuring out all of my darkness. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I am Nick, and I am, I am willing Brad. to be a better oh. person. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> hey, man. No, it's cool. Hey, if you're just throwing paint at a canvas and making money off of it, that's cool. But still, learn to draw a face. Yeah, I fucking said it, man. They probably know how to draw a face. They just don't draw faces. Draw faces more often, then. Just do whatever you want with your art, because it's your art. Don't ever tell somebody what to do with their art. That's the fucking dumbest, stupidest idiot shit I have ever heard in my goddamn fucking life. What is... uh, What gives you the authority? uh, You know what I mean? I'm just offering my opinion, and I have found... Nobody asked for it. I have found that usually my opinion is pretty fucking dope, so... Uh, It's... That that depends on what dopeness scale... You know, okay, check this out. I'm not cynical for the for the sake of being cynical. You know, you know what I've found out about people. This is from uh, the movie called "This Is the End." <laughs> My butt. Okay. <laughs> I won't do that. Um, there's a part where somebody. Okay. Long story short, somebody is accused of being an asshole. He's like, "No, I'm not." And the other guy's like, "How do you feel about Forrest Gump?" 
And he's like, it's a fucking piece of shit. And he hates that movie. And, <laughs> and I watched that movie and, and I, and I realized like, that's accurate, man. Ask mm. if you think somebody's just a cynical asshole just for the sake of being uh, a cynical asshole, ask them how they feel about Forrest Gump. Because I love that movie. Yeah. Forrest Gump is amazing. It's fucking dude, great, dude. If that movie was a fucking living person, I would boo, make out boo, with boo, it. Boo, 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 but if you ask, if you ask somebody, <laughs> dude. So if you ask somebody how they feel about Forrest Gump, and they're like, "Fuck that movie. That story's fucking convoluted and it's overrated." And the fu-, then they're a cynical asshole. Yeah, they, fuck those people. Yeah, they suck forever. Fuck those people forever. Yes, never I, stop. There will never be a day in my life where I hate Forrest Gump. No. That movie is gold. It's golden. It's, it's made, made of, of gold. It's made of gold. It's made of gold. We almost said that at the same time. That would have been cool. Fuck. Let's yeah, do it. Let Let's say go. it at the same time. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. It's, it's made. The, oh, what, what were we going to say? It's made of gold. It's made of gold? Yeah. Okay, you ready? It's made of gold. All right, you ready? One, two, three. It's, it's golden. <laughs> Oh, you're a fucking piece of shit. That's you're, you're, you're an ah, A plus individual. Yeah. No, let's do it for real. Okay, you I'm ready? I'm really into it. Yeah. One, two, three. It's, it's made gold. of gold. <laughs> All right. It's made of gold. You ready? One, one, yeah. One, two, two three. It's, it's golden. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, hey, so <laughs> that was pretty. Anyway, if, we did it. Dude, if you're under the impression that Forrest Gump is a piece of shit, then you need to assess the situation, baby, and check on yourself and really start yeah, thinking what kind of... Go J.O. or something. Get that fucking tension out, because you obviously hate that for a reason that's not what Forrest Gump is. That movie is golden. Golden. Ah, oh, fuck. I almost had it. Fuck. We almost said that. that was, <laughs> damn. We're getting close. One of these days, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, dude, I'm trying to be your twin so hard, but I just, I'm not, I'm not great at it. I'd give you an 87%. <coughs> On Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, no, in mm. science class. Oh. I was really bad in science class. No shit. Yeah. I was, That's crazy. I was just really bad at school, uh, period. Yeah. If we're being honest with each other. Do you know what a parabola is? Yeah. Okay, what is it? Ah, uh, no. Nah. All right. <laughs> right on, man. Well, it all makes sense. You did that was a lie detector test, and you passed. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking. I don't fucking know if you even know what a lie detector is. A little fucking, rascal. Pretty bad in school, apparently. You yeah, know. <laughs> what is it? What is it? A parabola? Parabola. What the fuck is it? I know it's a tool song. It is. And it's ding del- ding ding. Correct. I learned that in high school. Uh, that uh, a parabola is that's it's either an inward or an outward curve. There you go. It's more of a geometry thing, I guess, than it is a science thing. So you know, my fucking bad. But uh, yeah, yeah, a curve, either inward or outward. I forget which one it is, or if it's specific to inward or outward. I just know it has to do with curves. Think of a parabolic mirror. Well, I must have missed the punchline on that joke, but uh, cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Super fucking funny, right, America? God, I'm the best. Oh, uh, you're, you're, uh, it's a thinker. Yeah, you're the only professional in here. Am I the so. only fucking professional in this garage, yeah, dude? Well, we already know about it. Um,. All right. Well, I'll do some research on a what it what is it? A just listen to the song again. Oh, okay. I'll tell you all. What track is it? No. Smart guy. Ooh. That's what I fucking thought, is Brad. It a six That's or what seven? I thought. I think man, I don't know is six parable and seven's parabola. I don't know. Riddle me that. Chime off in the comments. Tell me how I fucked up. Oh, I want to recant something Uh from our last podcast. Okay. Or not? Maybe not our last one. Whatever. From a previous podcast, I was trying to mention a tool song, and I called it Intermission a bunch. Yeah. And that is a tool song, but not the one I was talking about. Intermission is 
an intro to 46 and 2. Nice. On Anima. Yeah, great song. Probably my favorite Tool song. Yeah. Yeah, I know that song. Fuck, it's a good song. Anyways, that's what intermission is. The song I was talking about was called Intention, uh-huh. and it's spelled um, with an S, so it's like tension in your fucking muscles or, oh. body or whatever. Yeah, dope. Tension in a guitar string. That's dope. Intention, cool. like that. So, great song. Fucking eat my butt about it. That song's good. Look it up. Check out... That's what I meant to say. Check out Parabola you know. in your science book, and heads up, wasps... Because I'm going to fucking put you down. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, this no, has been the Terrible Podcast. Up, I'm Nick. I, I am Brad. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>